I will never understand why when you tell a Christian to do what the God they claim to worship asked them to do, they say, no, you're wrong. Give me scripture to prove it. And then you give them a mountain of scripture. And then they say stuff like this. Well, you guys might think the Old Testament is funny. You might think it doesn't apply to you. But you know who did think it applied to them? Paul. He thought the Old Testament scriptures applied to him still. Acts 24, 14. But this I confess to you that according to the way, which they call a sect, I worship the God of our fathers believing everything laid down by the law and written in the prophets. And if you've ever actually read the front of your Bible, you'd know that if Paul meant this when he said it, he wasn't preaching against the laws. You just don't understand Paul because he's extremely hard to understand and you're not grounded in the scripture you need to understand Paul. 2 Peter 3, 15 through 17. And count the patience of our Lord as salvation, just as our beloved brother Paul also wrote to you according to the wisdom given to him, as he does in all his letters when he speaks in them of these matters. There are some things in them that are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction as they do the other. Do you know who else thought the Old Testament still applied? Jesus. He thought the Old Testament still applied. For if you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote of me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? Jesus says this in Matthew 23. The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat where they read the Torah. So do and observe whatever they tell you, but not the works they do. For they preach, but they do not practice. Just like so many of you still preaching the Bible, but not actually practicing it. And for those of you that want to follow up with, I'm a Gentile, it doesn't apply to me. Let's see what else Jesus said. Matthew 28, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. Do you know what Jesus commanded you to do? Well, we just read it in Matthew 23. To do and observe everything found in the laws of God that were given to Moses. This whole Old Testament doesn't apply to me thing really falls short if you actually read your Bible. But if you want to laugh and scoff at what the Old Testament says, good luck. It's not going to help you on Judgment Day. Isaiah 28, now therefore do not scoff, lest your bonds be made strong, for I have heard a decree of destruction from the Lord God of hosts against the whole land. Those of you with ears to hear... Let it be heard. The decree of destruction is coming soon to the ungodly. And make no mistake, people that claim to be Christian are massively ungodly. Just like the Israelites that came out of the Exodus. They were wicked. They chose not to obey. Just like you. Mm. Not a good look.